Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Volcano Block. Uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of change, as you can probably tell. I've uh, just prayed up this little bit here because I made another platform to put another 7x7 seven seven cube of cobblestone to make into the ancient cobblestone. Um, just because that, you know, those two there, we're doing fine. We got a fair bit, I will show you that. We've got a fair bit of this ancient cobblestone here. We've got three and a half stacks, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know if it's going to do us. So I did put another one there. Um, I just didn't want a plain, boring, another, you know, another friggin' cobblestone bloody circuit. It's cobblestone everywhere. I hate the... I hate... I, I hate cobblestone, okay? Cobblestone, it's all right for, you know, star base, but yeah, this doesn't work for me. This does not work for me. This might not be here, guys, by the next episode. I said might. It might still be here. I don't know. It depends if I bother to change it. Um, only because I was looking at um, if there was elevators. I think I've we talked about this. There isn't because my plan was to obviously make this look pretty. Um, I've been grinding out glass and stuff for when we get, say, either dark oak or marble or something. That's if there is marble. It might not, well, there's got to be a way to get marble. Um, even diorite might do. Um, but I like the white and the, you know, the white from the marble or the diorite contrasting with the dark oak look. And I planned on doing a nice tower with that, with glass panels, you know, looking real nice in between with an elevator in the middle to go up the floors, up into the top to where we have that golden rod stuff at the top. Um, but there's no elevators, so I'm gonna, just going to have to change my, change, change my plan. So it's, this this might not be here in a couple of episodes. All right. Um, so yeah, so I've basically been working. I made a little you know, a little moat going around here. Um, I've got some dirt patches going around here, which is eventually all going to be this mysterious uh, grass here. It's going to grow all the way around, so we've got a nice purple circle around. And then we also got the platform here, because this isn't going to stay here. This is just going to be here until we can build up enough ancient cobblestone or enough iron or enough resources. Then it's going to get teared down, and then we can build, I don't know, build something off maybe add a little bit of curvature going around so it looks like a bowl or a you know we can even make it into a, a massive sphere or dome i don't know this is that's obviously future yeah we're looking at now um so yeah so this episode guys i do have a little I, well i'm hoping to do quite a bit in the tree on our quest tree here so we still got to do this all right all this line here we need to get to ferramac we need to get iron we need to get explosive furnace chest builder ground well not really bothered about the chest builder but we got to do it anyway same as these basic pipes not really worried about them but we do have to do them to complete the chapter obviously but the main ones are like these four here okay the iron ingot the explosion furnace the ferromac ingot and the solderer so we can get into mutation paste then you know mark away to atomic reshaper okay but my plan is to try and make it down this uh this line here try and get to block of quartz i'm not uh, you know i don't really know so we need snow with a warm core, shard of the born might to make a block of quartz. Well, how would you get snow? Snow, water with a pure daisy. So let's get into Britannia. Freezer recipe. Freezer with freezing nearby water twice with snow. A nearby lava to obsidian. Only works at night. Consumes 10 energy per operation. Okay, so that means we've got to start getting generators and stuff. Mm, okay, so yeah. I'm hoping to get there. Power crystal freeze. Oh, so yeah. So this line to get the block of quartz, obviously, it, you know, the whole line, obviously, it takes you step by step to get there. So the nether crystal obviously makes the heat block. Yeah, and then the heat block makes the warm core. I take it. Obtained by right clicking heat block with a flint and steel, and then etc. etc. Okay. So my plan is to get there. Whether that's going to happen, I don't know. First of all, though, we need to get some iron. Right. Um, do I have my hammer on me? No, I don't. Where are the bloody owl? There's my hammer there. Look. So let's move that there. Let's grab that. Let's grab all this ancient cobblestone. Now, 
Um, it has been some time since I did this. Where the slime you got is there's ancient cobblestone stuff, right? So ancient cobblestone. Uh, so yeah, we just basically got the set fire to it, right? So chuck it in a lava pool. So lava pool. Oh, got some more cobblestone. Nice. See if I can do this without losing this all or picking it up. That's what I want to do. I'm going to get right on that edge there. No, 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 no. Come on. You can do this game. Thank you. And then let's do that one there. Let's do that one there. Thank you. And then them. Nice. Okay, so we have three and a three. Three and one bit? I mean, three and a half stacks of of ancient cobble. I don't know. No, I don't know. But anyway, let's get smashing, shall we? Oh, actually, tell you what I better do. Let's put these away. So we've got some room. I need to drop that upstairs. I think it's going to chuck all that in. Um, knife can go in there. Axe can go in there. That should do. That should give us enough room so we don't end up losing things. And the last one. Beautiful. Okay. So let's chunk chunk. Let's chuck all this into there. So that out. We got plenty of iron nuggets here to make iron ingots. We got some diamonds, lapis, aluminium, silver, gold, copper, Jesus, we got loads. Okay, so Let's take those two lots there. Um, we need them to be here. Now, I'm sure there is an easier way of actually doing this, of uh, putting it into here. But uh, honestly, I cannot remember how to do it. There is a way of doing it, guys. But uh, yeah, love of Christ me, I can't remember the button. But that's right, we do it the good old fashioned way, you know, right? Okay, so now we got that. Let's tick that one off, get charcoal, and then explosive explosion furnace. So explosion furnace, we need stone brick and a flint and steel. Stone brick's just obviously for stone. We should have enough stone. We've got two stone there, and if we go up to our little storage area up here, which is looking a bit pathetic, I've added a couple more. But it's still looking pathetic nonetheless, isn't it? Let's grab some more stone and down. Uh, let's do that, turn that, there, oh hang on, let's do the flint steel first, do I have a flint down here? No, which means we do have to go upstairs, let's just grab that. I could have checked the grinder, I can't remember if there's anything in the grinder actually. Might be something in the grinder. Let's back that in, that in, let's back the rest of that in. Uh, that do. That'll do, Donkey, yeah, that'll do. Right, actually, is there anything in there? No, there's not. Okay, cool. So, flint steel. <clears throat> it's basic. And then there. My mouse has been very sensitive today. Very, very sensitive. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is make gunpowder. Gunpowder is made... with a crushing recipe. To make... R so we need red flint. And the gunpowder, red flint is flint with rose red, which we should be able to get from beetroot. Do we have beetroot? Uh, we do have two roses. We got some rose red there, but we don't seem to have any beetroot itself. So, a little bit of grind. Get some beetroot from our nomad seeds. Oh, yeah. Normie seeds, sorry, not nomad seeds. Right, so there we have it. We have a Teen iron, that should be fine. Which well, should be good for what we need to do. So we need, uh, what else was the other bloody thing we needed? Damn, my brain's really on the kerfuffle. Uh, clay. Clay, clay, clay. That shouldn't be a problem. And one bar ballooned up. There it is. Let's just move that back there. Okay, so we need probably use an explosion reactor to process items. So we're probably going to need to read our Prodigy tech book, which is 
Right, so where is our tech book? Uh, there it is, Project the Tech Book. Need to read about this explosion of furnace. Okay, so the explosion of furnace is the first machine. Is the first machine to make using an explosive reaction that can be used to turn iron and clay into ferromac, a strong heat resistant material, as well as crush large amounts of stone. It's GUI split into four parts on the left. You have two vertical slots, the explosive slot at the top, and the dampener on the bottom. On the right, three input slots, followed by the reagent slot, and finally three output slots. To simply make ferromac ingots, put five gunpowder in the explosive slot, four sand in the dampener, 16 iron ingots in the input, and four clay in the reagent slot. Uh, shift clicking or automation will sort them automatically then stand back and give it a redstone pulse so oh we need a redstone pulse we need a switch there's a switch right there we'll leave her um okay so we can all make this by the sounds of things so that's going to be pretty pretty awesome and uh, let's put that down there hopefully that's not going to do much so it was four or five five gunpowder four sand so four Four sand, that goes in there. Uh, five gunpowder, okay, they go in there. We need 16 iron ingots and the clay. And then we need to just put that down and maybe stand back. Boom. And there we have it 16 Fermac ingots. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now that will give us a solder, but in order to make the solder, we need to make the nether crystal. So touch the crystal into a nether portal to acquire this. Okay, so that means we need to make another portal and uh, yeah, get some obsidian. All right, okay, so now we need to find somewhere to put this. Our, uh, put our, uh, oh, I need flint steel actually, don't I? Uh, let's go make a flint steel. Uh, put our nether portal. I want this equal, so it's going to be a rather big nether portal. I don't like things being unsymmetrical. So as you can see, that's three, that's two, and then once we build up there, it's, yeah, so we're gonna do this three wide, okay? A lot of people are gonna go, yeah, yeah, but I've got plenty of obsidian, stop binging. Get rid of that. And I want another one you there. Throw one you there. And then let's get that. And there we go. I don't know if we can actually go in here. We can. Can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. Good. But we don't need that at the moment, do we? No. we got to get some nether. Oh, I need to eat. You need to eat. Okay. So, yeah. I need to go and get some crystals. And here's some I prepared earlier. Oh, damn, I haven't got many. I've got nine. Let's use... Let's just use the one at the moment. How many do we actually... How many do we need for solderer? We need one for the solderer. And then mostly we need one for the heat block. So we'll lob in... Two. That came out the other side. And then the sword rare. Actually, let's go. We need to really add. Oh, we've got that speedy hopper. Beautiful. Come an ideal for automation. Alright, so sword rare. We need. Oh, carbon plate. Carbon plate, carbon dust. Uh, Rotor grinder, coal, or charcoal into the rotor grinder. Okay, do I have enough charcoal to make? And how many is it for the. So we need nine carbon dust. We need nine charcoal. We have 32. Wonderful. I love the smell of victory in the afternoon, guys. Don't know about you, but I certainly do. And then into the carbon plate. And there is the solderer. Beautiful. So it uses gold, dust, circuit plates, and pattern to make circuits. Minimum temperature of 125 degrees. Um, solid fuel aero heater does maximum temperature 200. So 
Because that is one thing we haven't really looked at is the Prodigy Tech machines. So obviously the Magmatic, as you can see, output air temperature of 80. And if we put down the that one, um, no. Well, yeah, but obviously we haven't got fuel in there. That is currently giving us fuel. Um, there is obviously a way of sorting this or checking this out. So if we go to uh, uh, Prodigy Tank. Okay, so the magmatic aero heater, maximum temperature is 80, as you saw. Then we have the solid fuel aero heater, which is 200. So what I'm trying to say is each... So as you can see, it goes 250, 1000, and then capacitor aero heater is variable. Okay, um, so yeah, so each machine will obviously take a minimum required of heat to work. So like the solder is 125 degrees, so we can only use that with a solid fuel and above. Whereas in like the sawmill, it's 80 uh, degrees minimum, so we can use that on any from magmatic. And I'm sure for shit there is bound to be a one that's higher. Yes, it's bound to be one. So there you go, the Atomic Reshaper, which I think is actually the last machine we're going to make within this quest line, um, within this chapter. Uh, you need a minimum temperature of 250 degrees, so that would be the energy on aero heater or higher to use. So make sure you use the right machines, guys, for the right, yeah, the right uh, aero heaters for the right machines. Okay, so let's get this solder done. Uh, we can actually put this anywhere, so let's put this back to here with that on top, uh, that on top, thank you. And then uh, let's tick that one off. So we got a view of whole, whole topic infantry explorer work boot. Work bot, sorry, right click through search nearby chest, need to repeat that search. Okay, so that's something I don't know about. I never played with you, so maybe that's one thing we can explore in the future. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, we're going to go down here now. So heat block is the next thing. Uh, I've already got a mini me. Why have I already got a mini thing? I don't know. But never mind. Let's do that now. So we need terracotta, which is clay. Um, so we need a lot of clay actually, because we're going to make some bricks as well. So uh, let's grab. Uh, let's grab the one, two. That's eight blocks, and then two. So yeah, let's put them back. Let's go cook these up. Can I come down, please? <laughs> Ow. Okay. That goes in there. We'll just use sticks to burn that. Because in here, we have plenty more. And we can always grow trees now. So it's wonderful. Life is wonderful. So we need... What do we need? It's six bricks. And this makes four. Okay. And we only really need one. I hope. We only need one. Let's split this down. Speed that process up. Can be claimed by create. Cannot be created inside the trunks claimed with FTP utils. Okay, well, don't know what that means, but all right. There is no claimed chunks, so we're good. I like the shape of our base. It's coming along a bit. You know, you know and then we'll expand out. Sorry. Off subject. Right, okay. So that one, that one, done. Next is the warm core retained by right clicking the heat block with a flint and steel. So let's go one, two, three, four. I don't think it matters where. Oh, I didn't know they explode. Aha! Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Now oh, we got our first helmet. So there's the warm cores. And then next, we've got to make a freezer. So let's bookmark that, collect the rewards from these, and let's make this freezer. So in order for the freezer, we need a shard of ball might, three smooth azurite, another terracotta block. So let's go grab them. We should have all of these. Uh, we got the raw azure blocks. And then we need azurite. What is azurite? Whether that's right. Oh, okay. So what am I thinking of? No idea. <laughs> Don't know what I'm thinking of. Um, one terracotta, 
Oh, we do need Azul Ingots. Okay, so I'll take Azul Ingots. Which is an Azul block. So, raw Azul under the amplifying tube, which is there. I keep doing that. I really hate ladders in Minecraft. That should be working. It is. Let's get the that one in. And then we've got to make the smooth as a right uh, which is cobblestone and shard of root life shards are in here we do need these ball mites so we'll take them out uh, shard of root life is there i'm going to take eight I'll grab some cobblestone grab a terracotta let's do that um dum 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 that one and then i think we've got to put them in the furnace yes we do Split them down so they cook quicker. And then we need to make the Azul, Azul Machine Case, which is a full stone and some more Azul block, Azul ingots. Yeah. Which, that should be enough. Because it's two, six. Yeah, we've got to grab some stone. That's not exactly hard to do. I don't know if I've got any in this chest of one. No. I need to do some. I really do need to do some uh, things here. Oh, talking about chess, actually, we should be able to make the draw controller now because we have pristine diamond. Oh no, we need nether quartz. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it just yet. We can off the end of this quest though. This quest line. Um, what we're we doing? That one. That one. That one. So the last thing we need is these three smooth azurite blocks. Oh, we're out of heat in there. Uh, let's grab that. We might be able to use sawdust as well, which is nice. Oh, there we do have the three cooked. Beautiful. Okay, so freezer's done. Now we're going to work out about the freezer. What is the freezer through? Hearth well. Let's grab our hearth well book. Let's have a look at the freezer section. Key me mechanics. Is it in here? Freezing. The freezer will freeze liquids around it into solids. Transforms water into snow, ice, and lava into obsidian. Consumes some energy per operation. Okay. So that's not too bad because we can just we can just nick our little water source here. So we can maybe like because it's. Uh, Let's just like stick it there in it. Let's just stick it there and do. I should get some there because we only need one snow block to make one quart. Way game, thank you. Uh, one snow block to make one quart. But it says about energy. Now is that energy? Power crystal. See a book of the wells for the more information. Uh, yeah, uh, hearth. Okay, so we need to look at energy. Charging, core stabilizer, collecting light, amplifying, freezing, powering. The power crystal item has a variable recipe. This means that for each part, a different item may be placed. The parts are the nucleus in the center position, the relays in the center, top and bottom, the screen on the sides. Test out. Right, okay, so what is the power crystal? What is a power crystal? Is that what gives us power? Is this our first power source? So the power crystal has three trains. Power, the total power this crystal can contain. This may be recharged in the charger. Range, the range in blocks that this power crystal can deliver power to. Purity, the purity will determine the amount of power wasted in air transmission when powering machines. Different items used in each of the three parts of the recipes will yield different traits. So nucleus possibilities. We have blaze rods, diamonds, snow. Uh, you know, these bits here. I don't know what that is, but those two are those. Uh, that's the mysterious rod. And... Um, I forgot what that blue thing is, but that's to make like the the crystal CD bang thing. <laughs> CD bang, relay possibilities. Okay, and power screen screen possibilities. Okay, A list of possibilities. Nuclear snowball. Oh, it tells me mysterious rod, blaze rod, impris imprisoned light, and shard catalyst. Relay stone quartz block. To place the power crystal in the world, to be right click it with it in your hand power crystal in the world okay so again this is new stuff for me guys right so you're gonna have to bear with me but we will we will learn this okay so let's make ourselves a power crystal then oh click to see recipe 
Hello. Right. So it doesn't actually... Oh, yeah, it tells me there how to make it. Okay, dickhead. <laughs> right, what can we use? Screens. Stone, quarter blocks, redstone block, endstone, moon, endstone, moonstone. Lapis lazuli blocks, smooth as right. Mystic iron blocks, soul steel block. Okay, what is moonstone? Let's have a look for moonstone. Let's see what that is. See if that's like something easy we can I'll make. We can make that piss easy. Okay. So it is six. Blaze rod. We could. Oh no, we ain't got the blaze rods. Diamond. Diamond. We could use diamond. So I've decided what I'm going to do is because you can use any of these as long as you have one of these for the nucleus, one of these for the relay, one of these for the screen. Okay, I'm going to go for the fairly easy stuff. So we're going to go diamond because we have diamonds. We're going to go with moonstone because, well, just why not? Hey, okay. it's easy to make. Uh, I know it's probably easier to make. You know, just grab the stone, but never mind. I don't think that's going to give us much power as a moonstone would. So, yeah, moonstone, and then we're going with the crystal block. Um, in order to make moonstone, we are going to need a stone and tits. Shard of the Shining Dawn, which is the yellow. So, let's grab that one. Grab, we'll, just, we'll just grab all of them. All right. Um, so, that, that, and that. Thank you. And then to put this together, it is the so crystal blocks. All right. Okay. So it's diamond in the middle. These down the side, and then them there. That is going to make us a power crystal. Power four nine eight out of nineteen ninety five. So range is ten. Purity seventy two. So we could do a little tester here. Okay, so let's do diamond again. Take the moonstone out and we'll put the stone in. Uh, so this is, yeah, I knew that was going to be bad. Okay. So nuclear shiny, relay, rocky, screen, crystal. So we're going to grab this one. Okay, we can make a lot of stuff. We're just going to experiment with these power crystals. See which one is going to do us better. Um, so we've got... So we've done that, uh, we've done that one, we've done that one, we've done that one. I'm still going to use crystal block for the glass. Well, actually, we could use normal glass. Let's try the normal glass out as well. So let's grab some of that. Um, let's grab these blocks here. I want to stick one more in so I know where they're to. Um, is there anything else we could use from up here? Glass, scorch glass, crystal block, packed dice we can't do. Lapis Luzuli block, redstone block, we can try those two out. Um, mysterious rod. Let's, tr let's have a look at Mysterious rod. In order for that, we're going to need some Mysterious powder. Uh, if I'm correct. Am I right? Where is the Mysterious rod? Oh, bloody course. <laughs> of course. It's not going to show us how to make Mysterious rod. Um, do I need to go back in here for that? I think I do, don't I? Is it in here? Uh, half dust. Glass. Soul steel. Crystal creation. Uh, we can use the crystal catalyst. Now we've got another crystal. We can use that. I forgot the bloody do. How do we do this freaking rod again? It's in uh, chapter one, right? Is it in here? 
Oh yeah, mysterious rod. Hold right click while welding an empty rod. So an empty rod, we need an empty rod. So it's heavy nuggets. Okay. So that's what I needed. So we'll grab that one. Like that. Then we only need one of them. And the other thing we can get is a blaze rod. And try a blaze rod. In order for that, we're going to have to do a little bit of fishing here. Um, so let's go over here. Let's work that in. Hopefully we get a blaze rod. Okay, so blaze rod at hand. Stick that one away. That one away. Grab. Grab that. And then we need to make this. So we'll do that. And then we've got to fill it with our soul. Beautiful. Okay, so what have we got? So we want to try... I'm going to try diamond. One diamond, thank you. Moonstone. And then glass. Okay, so... So far... See, even that one is better. So glass... So for range, okay, range, that one is the better one for range, and power, and actually purity. This one's good for range over this one, but this one's good for power and purity. Okay, so let's stick to this one. All right, we need to make a make powerful crystal. Yeah, a very powerful, powerful crystal. So we're going to go crystal blocks. We're going to go moonstone. And then we're going to try a blaze rod. So the this one's the better one. Purity at 96. Range is 8. Power it holds is 1720. So the only good thing about this one is purity. Okay, one more to try. So Moonstone, that one, and then Mist, Mist Rod. Mist Rod? Right, okay. So with that, we have a range of 8, purity of 95, power of 1765. So, purity is nice, unfortunately, though. This one, so Diamond with Moonstone and the Crystal. That is the better one so far, but we do have a couple more to try out. We could use Lapis or Redstone. Let's try a Lapis Block. Is it going to be the normal way of making a Lapis Block? It is indeed. So let's grab two of them. There, there. That one. And then there. And then this one. So hang on, which is... That one's not that good. That one's not that good. So... This one here is really good for power and range. Range of 9 is actually really good. I'm not going to complain about that. But the purity is down. But that power it holds up. 2395. I don't know how well the purity does though. What does the purity mean? I don't know. I'm going to have a look more into that guys. But we do have two good crystals now. So let's whack these away. Uh, let's just whack them in there. I'm going to put these in here as well. they got to go back up the top. But we do have the power crystals we're going to use. We're going to first use the... Yeah, let's use this one. Um, we need to put this... It says to place in the world. So if we put this... What do we do? Do we just put it down? Well, that's not where I wanted to go. Okay. Nothing's happening. It's got 498 energy, I take it. It is called an energy crystal, or power crystal. So 498 power, which is energy. I had a range of 10. Nothing's happening. <laughs> and then we just right click it and put it there. No, that's, that's, no, that's, can you go, I want you on top. Oh, I'll just put the other crystal down, that's fine. Maybe that's not how it works. Let's just watch it for a bit and see what happens. It might take its time. It does say it only works at night time. And it is night time. If you look on top of the map, it is night time. 
It's a bit hard to tell, obviously, when you're in hell. But yeah, nothing, nothing is actually happening. Okay, so I just took a quick little AFK break to the toilet, and look, we have some snow. This thing is working. Um, so we've lost about, what, what was it, about 30, 40 percent? But we have one block of snow. I don't know why it's there. I have no idea why it's there. There's nothing else, is there? No. But I'm not complaining. We have snow. We need a shovel. Hmm, okay. It's just weird how it's just in that one, you know, one little spot. Yeah, just, just, just doesn't feel right to me why it's in that one spot. But we got what we want anyway, we need the snow, so let's grab two, let's do a diamond shovel. For... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Let's do a diamond shovel, we got diamonds, let's use them. I'm going to put this one away in there. And diamond shovel. Oh, hello. It's made this nice block now we've moved. We can't really collect that though. So. We, we can't use a pickaxe on that, that just break. So we're just going to leave it there. But we have our snow now to make our final piece. Let's collect them. Which we got, what do we get? Block setter. It consumes five, five energy per operation. And the nourisher uh, makes crops around it grow faster because it's one energy. Okay, so that's. Probably farming stuff. I'm not going to worry about that at this precise moment in time. We just need to get this block of quartz to end this, end this episode. Snow can be created by using the freezer and water. And then we need snow and a shard of the born mite. Uh, shard of the born mite. And we need a snow block. Let's turn it back to a block. Let's place this one down. I think we've got to click that one there. And then we've got to place that down. So it's a bit like the, a bit like these rock cores. It's just going to keep breaking. There is a way we can. There is there is a way of upgrading to stop this happening, or a mission, you know, a, a thing we can put down to stop this happening. So it just consumes it straight away. Plus, if we have more around it, it's going to make this block turn quicker. But just keep doing this, we should be fine. As you can see, it is working. It's got particle effects there. There we go. There we have it. So let's get that one back. Turn that back in. We can make another quartz block then if we want. But we ain't going to need it. Let's collect that. That finishes that line of quests. Absolutely wonderful. And guys, that is also the end of this episode. The next episode we are going to work down mutation paste. Down to hopefully getting into the energy on dust. And then obviously on to finishing chapter 2. Moving on to chapter 3. Which looks like we're getting a little bit more technical, guys. We're getting into Menrail, which is obviously, uh, you know, what's it called? Bus bloody thingy called? I'm thinking of Applied Injustice. It's not fucking Applied Injustice, is it? I forgot what the uh, mod pack hall, but we're getting into Menrail. Uh, we're getting to Ender Perils. We're going, yeah, we're just going to get a bit more technical, technical as we go down. And uh, yeah, guys, oh, well, we've got another snow block. Beautiful. So this thing is definitely working. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe and show your support. And until next time, remember to have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, and go and check the sponsor out as well. Okay? Go and check it out. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.